Hi there, Rev. Jana Jones from High Country United Church up in Camilla, Ontario, here with you in my worship studio on this Wednesday where we explore pictures of the Bible. And this story is about the little children and Jesus. And it can be found in Mark 10 verses 13 to 16. Nice little short one. So let us listen in. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God, kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the little children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. Hmm. So I wonder, why do you think the disciples didn't want the little children around Jesus? Was it because they were so busy they had many things to do? Was it because maybe the disciples didn't think that children could understand or believe or, hmm, I guess, come to Christ? When I think about this story, I think of kind of all the, I'm going to say control we think we have over the world. <laughs> Where we get to pick and choose who can do what, how things are done, and so forth. And there are times where, even as a mother, I think of, oh, Evelyn getting her first job. I'm going, oh, that would be a horrible fit for her. And then I keep thinking, hmm, maybe not. Maybe there's something within her that hasn't been explored or discovered yet. So, if children, if we're told that if the children do not receive the kingdom of God in this way, if they are not received, like, what does that mean? What is the exact wording here? For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. The kingdom of God is not a place but a description. Kind of of what God wants in the world. So if the little children are not received in that world, what does that mean for the world now and in the future? I still think of times when I'm in a circle with parents when we were much younger, shall we say. And we were all kind of busy doing our things as adults and then a child would come up and you know some would brush their child away and say yeah yeah I'll, I'll deal with that later go and play and I still remember one parent stopping everything and kind of making it a priority to sit with her child and listen and kind of be very present and it wasn't about solving the problem or doing what the child asked but it was just like oh you are as important as the rest of us. Now in a world of helicopter parenting and all that fun stuff, I think there's a way to do that with a balance. But I think as children explore who they are in our world, as children grow up in a world that's so crazy, we need to remember to welcome them in with their questions, with their struggles, with their concerns. And 
and also to inspire and encourage them to try new things. I mean, what if the parents didn't bring their little children to Christ? What would have that meant for our faith? Or is this just a story reminding us that all can come to Jesus? So much to unpack. I wonder what your picture would be for this story. And I wonder if you have a story in your own personal timeline of life where someone welcomed you in as a child in a special way that it impacted your here and now. I'd love to hear those stories if you have them. I remember sharing a story with you about a Sunday school teacher when we were kind of forced to go to church on a school bus on Sunday morning so parents could get a break. And uh, there was one Sunday school teacher that took us out uh, my twin sister and I to the botanical gardens and let us have some pizza and buy a plant for our mom and it was just the most oh we're kind of special that was kind of cool I wonder if you have stories like that anyway just a short little ditty for today um, reminder, we don't really have anything else going on today. Friday, there will be a prayer. Sunday morning, we are live uh, and live streaming. Well, we can have about 40 people in the sanctuary. So just uh, be prepared. If you come early, you're almost guaranteed a spot. If you come a little late, we'll see. But it is summer. We're a little low on numbers in the summer. So I hope you're relaxing at the cottage and enjoying your time. On a Sunday night, we have our live prayers. But for now, let us pray. Loving God, we ask you to be with all people in our world. No matter how young or old we are, there's still a child in our hearts yearning to get out at times. And so help us to find that inner child to tap into him or her. And to be able to find or imagine a way where we are blessed by Jesus, where we are welcomed in with open arms. And help us to be that kind of person in our world today for all people, regardless of race, color, culture, age, or ability. Be with us, God, this day and all our days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, this is Rev. Janet Jones saying, as always, God is with you. I hope you have a blessed rest of the week. Take care.